Hi guys, you're here with Barry and uh, happy December 2nd, 2017. I uh, just had some time to kill after our last visitors left and uh, we've got some more coming in next week and I'm going to do my best to catch you up on what's happening around uh, Montagne Mar and uh, do my best to do as much YouTubing as I can before Christmas kicks in. We've already had a couple little preemptive parties here and uh, we're looking for a couple of more over the next week or so which is always a good thing by the way so I just wanted to catch you up on a few things that um, there's uh, one two three four houses I know that are being built right now are in the process of being built uh, they're in the preliminary stages I know of another four more uh, couples that are talking to various contractors and uh, most of them are already down to the stages of they made their selection and they're starting to do their planning. So now that all the titles have come clean and everything like that, it, it's apparently there's going to be a fair bit of building going on from now on. Uh, we have uh, several trips planned during the winter. Uh, that's going to keep us nice and busy. Lately we've been meeting uh, several couples from uh, Bermuda, which was really nice. Uh, actually, we're here with another wonderful lady uh, from Bermuda right now that's been staying over in Cabarete for quite a while, but uh, she's been a fan of ours, a subscriber for, I think she said, I think it was five years she's been watching our YouTubes and reading some posts, this and that, and agrees with a lot of our philosophy about especially uh, supply lines and things like that because they're used to that over there for weather breakdown. Uh, shelves start running low. They say after about five days you can't really find what you want. So anyway, to make a long story short, uh, they've uh, she's changed a little bit and is coming back here for a second time. and going to switch from Cabarete to spend the balance of her time or most of it around the Cabrera region. She's already informed us that there's uh, really no comparison even though she's been coming to the DR for many years. She's been concentrating on the Porta Plata, uh, Sasua y Cabarete areas and um, after spending an afternoon together, she asked us to book her into a hotel, which we did, and we continued on a little bit the next day. And lo and behold, she's uh, switching the rest of her time here. She's here quite frequently, and uh, we're going to find her a little place to stay for a couple of weeks. And she's found her region that she likes to, as so many others do. Uh, I always say it's not for everyone, but if once you drive through it and get a, a good chance after a tour, something inside is going to tell you if it's right or not. And I wanted to take a couple of moments here to start wishing people all the best uh, for the new year coming up. It's right around the corner. And uh, I hope you're all working with your plans and I hope you're following websites. And I do expect 2018, I'm going to back up what I've been saying for at least four years that I know of. Be prepared for 2018. And I don't say that at all in a scare tactic. Honestly, people do what's right for them and uh, it's a subjective choice what people do because what's right for one isn't right for another which is obvious but it's kind of funny that a lot of the more prominent and I don't mean fear porn but prominent researchers are starting to come out of the woodwork now uh, mentioning about both politically and in world events that 2018 is liable to be a very volatile year um, my studies has been showing that for over four years now. It might be late 2018, it might be early 2019. But the point is not to be um, afraid of anything, just be prepared for things. Then you don't need to be afraid. So all you folks that have been uh, lagging, I can tell you immigration is changing. It already has. As I also did mention on several prior attempts, um, we're finding more and more people from the States and Europe are having to hop through a lot of loops before they're able to wire in substantial amounts. And when I say substantial amounts, I'm roughly talking about the, uh, the currencies to cover um, purchasing of a house or their land. So we're not talking anything in the millions 
uh, but just, um, you know, uh, anywhere from 50,000 all the way up from there. Uh, they're really expressing um, a lot of stress and duress about how many hoops they have to jump from a teller to an assistant manager to a manager to, well, what's this for? Why is this going there? Is it for you? Is it for someone else? We'll have to get this double checked. We'll need a, an actual, we've even had uh, two different couples that had to actually have a police clearance before they would wire that. Now that's a first for us. So I want to bring this to your attention for all you folks that think in a white black scenario, Everything is shades of gray. I say that time and time again. You are not going to see currency restrictions, currency controls, whatever you choose to call it, I don't care. You're not going to see that come on like a light switch, but you're going to notice it more like in your dining room if you have a dimmer switch. Okay, you're going to notice things change, the hue. It changes slowly. So it's bit by bit by bit. First is the questions, then is the restrictions, then is the holdbacks. Finally, it cannot be done. And again, you choose what's right for you. If um, this country, I'm sure not leaning that this country is right for everyone because no place is. I am saying you need to consider diversifying your holdings, your portfolio. You choose how you think it's right to do. But if you want to go back to approximately four, possibly even five years, start looking about what we were talking about on DR Escapes. Start witnessing where we said the dollar would be, where gold would be, where silver would be, and check our accuracy in terms of volatile situations, both domestic, which we said divide is a big problem, and international. Take a look at how they're keying up, making artificial enemies because they need to justify this military industrial complex. No boogeyman, no tax dollars flow to it. It's that simple. It's irrelevant if the boogeyman's artificially created because the same party's coming around with the solution. It's just that, unfortunately, most of the people are the suckers that are paying for it. And until people understand these things, the abuse will keep going. But again, that's subjective. Uh, we've been divided as a people on purpose. So I don't care whether it's religion, politics, science, uh, sexual preference, uh, gender. I don't care. It's all a divide. Because at the end of it all, if you believe what you preach and what you read, we're all one. And um, you can feel that in the mind, but if you don't act accordingly, what you see is what you get. And I just want to close off the year with saying that and it's up to you guys to make up your mind what you think is right. There are several countries out there that are going to weather these storms far better. There are several that are going to suffer immensely. Okay, but again, nothing to be worried about. All it takes is an action. And it's sad, but as, a, as human beings, we tend to be 99% reactive. And if we're lucky, 1% proactive. So stay tuned to DR Escapes and something feels wrong and old Barry, Johnny, Leanne and uh, soon to be one or two other people are going to be joining us because we're breaking out in YouTubes in Spanish in Espanol de YouTube and it's far overdue. We apologize to our large Latin community but old Barry is doing the best he can with two hands and doing the, the balance of touring and this and that. We've got some other folks coming on board. So expect for all our Spanish speaking subscribers, you'll be seeing YouTubes before too long in Espanol in todo. So uh, gracias a Dios por el YouTube en Espanol. I want to wish everybody the best. I will do a quick Christmas thing uh, next, a week from Sunday. Uh, we're going to have about 40 or 50 of the local boys coming up and their wives and the kids. We're going to either do a pig roast or we're going to do a bunch of uh, chicken and uh, chops and all kinds of uh, garden things like we normally like to do. And of course, a whole lot of rum and dancing. So until then, uh, stay tuned. And I'm wishing all you guys the best. And this has really been a privilege over the last five and a half years to meet so many of you people. Uh, we do love you all, and we love you all because of our differences, not in spite of our differences. 
And till next time, this is Barry NDR. Talk to you soon.